Interfaith Harmony Month continues with a lecture at USC Aiken about Islam in America. The month of January has been declared Interfaith Harmony Month by uh, Governor uh, of South Carolina. We're the only state in the Union that has such a thing, which I think is great. And uh, I am also a, a member of Aiken Interfaith Partners, which is sponsoring a whole series of activities this month. Uh, in order to celebrate, if you will, Interfaith Harmony Month. Uh, all those activities are driven in the direction of helping to uh, create harmony between faiths. Well, for the Aiken community, it's uh, just uh, to help uh, folks to understand each other. Uh, we have uh, many churches and, and uh, many other what I'll call minority uh, faiths uh, participating and we can all learn to understand each other and respect each other, recognize we have far more uh, commonalities than we do differences, uh, which uh, you know should make for great friendships. Well, of course, uh, most of us when we went to high school and even to college, if we were learning history of the United States or uh, the, the Western Hemisphere, we didn't hear much about Muslims. And that maybe uh, is one of the reasons that uh, some people who don't quite understand Muslims seem to think that it's a recent thing that's uh, just kind of shown up uh, in the States recently. But in fact, uh, the Muslims were here uh, actually long before uh, the, uh, the Protestants were. The Catholics and the, and the Muslims showed up at about the same time but uh, the Protestants showed up later and uh, this uh, talk is to simply fill in the gaps that people missed in high school. We'll be back after a quick commercial break. Everyone's a welcome guest at Crescent Automotive. We're Aiken's Choice Award winner four years in a row. That probably has a lot to do with our low upfront windshield pricing and no additional processing fees. Remember, everybody drives Crescent. You should too. Welcome back to the front page, the guest speaker for the Breakfast at the Gallops event. One of the top television broadcasters in thoroughbred racing history will make an appearance at the 14th edition of Breakfast at the Gallops. Charles E. Canty will be the guest speaker for the event, which is scheduled for 9 a.m. March the 13th at the Aiken Training Track. Career Expo. Join the Aiken Standard on Tuesday, February 18th from 3 to 7 p.m. at Newberry Hall for an afternoon of networking with potential employers and finding opportunities in our community. Sunday Best. Be on the lookout for our Sunday Best feature on Irene Curtis. Martin Luther King Jr. touched the lives of millions of Americans as a pastor, speaker, and civil rights leader. But one woman here in Aiken remembers him as a friend. To read more about these stories, please visit AikenStandard.com. My name is Michelle A. Jackson, and I will catch you next time on The Front Page. <laughs>